What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas, and we are actually in Fort Worth today because we finally have an RV show going on. It has been like a year, year and a half since we had our last RV show, but this weekend, January 6th through January 9th, so that is Thursday through Sunday, we will be at the Fort Worth Convention Center having our RV show. If you want to see more details and see a good overview of all the RVs that will be at this show. My most recent video prior to this one is going to be a walkthrough of a lot of the stuff that we have here at the show, how to find us and things of that nature. But today we're gonna to be looking at a unit that is here at the show that I have not had the opportunity to get a video of yet that I've been waiting to see, waiting to get a video of. And that is this 2022 Keystone Avalanche 378 BH. A lot of you know the popularity of the Avalanche 390 DS, which is a two full bedroom, two full bathroom fifth wheel. This here is going to be Avalanche's bunkhouse fifth wheel that has sleeping for up to 10 people in here, has a huge bunk room space. Plus, you can't even see it, but there is an outdoor kitchen over there that has a TV and a sink and a refrigerator. So a lot of really awesome stuff on this Avalanche bunkhouse fifth wheel. I'm really excited to walk through it with y'all. So let's go take a look what's up y'all welcome back to another video if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos i'm super excited that you're here just sit back relax and enjoy and consider hitting that like button and definitely that subscribe button down below and become a part of this growing community of our viewers all around the world if you want to connect with me on other social media sites those links are down in the description below and we have our Fort Worth RV show this weekend. It is Thursday through Sunday, January 6th through January 9th. So if you plan on coming and are hoping on making a purchase at the show, text me so I can meet up with you and help you get a great deal on an RV. And if you are planning on coming just to look around as well, I hope to see you there and hope to say hi to you and meet you people out there. Really excited. Real quick, before we take a look as well, I do wanna mention if you do plan on coming to this show in Fort Worth, please text me. It is going to be very crazy, very hectic at the show. I would love to meet as many of you as possible to plan on coming to this show. And I know that if you don't text me ahead of time, it is gonna be much harder for me to find opportunities to meet you and help you out while you're here at the show, help you find your next RV. So please text me if you plan on coming at this number up here on the screen. And then I also will hopefully be able to help you get into the show for free as well if you text me ahead of time. So reach out to me there if you plan on coming and I'm super excited to meet y'all that will be at the show. So again, this here is the 2022 Keystone Avalanche 378BH. This is one of Avalanche's bunkhouse fifth wheels. Um, the structure of this video may be a little bit different than what the structure of my videos typically are just because we're at the show. There's a lot of people here running around setting things up and stuff like that. So need to make sure I stay out of their way and whatnot. But you can see the specs on the screen here of this unit. I know this one here is about 41 and a half feet long or so, almost 42 feet. And it's gonna be around, I mean, just a tick under 14,000 pounds. So that's kind of the size that you're looking at on this one. It is a dual entrance. So you do have two entrances into this fifth wheel. And then you have an outdoor kitchen back there as well that we'll take a look at in just a sec. But let's walk through some things up front here. First of all, it's gonna come with the Road Armor pin box up front. So this will be the Road Armor pin box that will connect to your fifth wheel hitch where you have this rubber bushing here that is going to absorb a lot of that shock. As you are towing, when you brake and accelerate and this moves within your hitch, it's gonna pivot there. And this is gonna absorb a lot of that contact to make that towing experience smoother for you. And that is what is gonna come standard out of the factory for that. You have a storage compartment down underneath here where it's separated by this panel. So you have this opening over here for all this storage space. Then in this area, you're gonna have things like your hydraulic controls, you have your inverter in here as well for the residential refrigerator battery disconnects back here and then you have like your solar charge controller because there is a 200 watt solar panel that comes standard on all keystone trailers and that will be working in unison with the solar panel to give you information about how much power is being drawn from your solar panel uh, how much battery life is left on your uh, battery things like that so that'll be giving you all that information there is an app that you can download that is connected to that that you can use. And then you can also add an inverter up here as well if you wanna add another inverter to expand upon the solar and start getting power to things like outlets and stuff like that inside your fifth wheel as well. So you'll have that storage compartment there coming along the front. You can see you have frameless windows. We have all the windows open right now so you see how they open up. The advantage to the frameless windows is when you open them up like this, it actually allows it to, when it's raining, have that water just run down and not actually get into your fifth wheel too much. So you can keep windows open while it's raining as long as it's not like a torrential downpour and you're pretty much you're gonna be all right. 
you have a really large storage compartment down underneath here. So this thing is huge, tons of space in here. And then it is gonna be getting heat fed to it. So you do have a heat duct running into here as well. And also you have a TV hookup. So if you wanted to hook up a TV, what you would do, it would mount onto this sidewall here and it would be on a mount that would basically come out like this and then rotate. So it'll it'd be a sliding mount and you can put a TV in here. But overall, this is a really big space. I could easily climb in there and fit my whole self in there with probably a couple other people if I really wanted to. So you have a lot of space. Battery hookups are gonna be right here. So it'll have room for two batteries. And you do have another solar plug here as well. So you can plug in a solar panel there if you want to also. Now, they're right over there. Um, let's just go look at this outdoor kitchen real quick. So you can see you have your second entrance into the half bath there and then you have your outdoor kitchen here with your TV. You have the sink and a bigger size refrigerator. So this is gonna be like a dorm size refrigerator. You can open this up here, take this piece of tape off show you the size of this refrigerator in here. Don't tell, oh, I didn't even have to do that. It wasn't even opening from that side. But yeah, so you'll have that size refrigerator in here. You also have some storage drawers. So you'll be able to store things in there. But the biggest thing I think with this is you have the sink. The TV's obviously really cool too, and it's nice how it's lit up in here. But I think the sink is the most functional thing that you have in there. And you have your sound controls outside as well that you can access. But if you think about things that you actually do while you're out camping, um, you know, when you're out by the fire, you have your plates and stuff out there. If your hands get dirty, stuff like that. Being able to have your sink outside to access, um, just a place to clean your hands without having to go into the camper or rinse things off. That is a really practical space that you have there with the sink. Also want to point out, you do have two awnings on here with the LED light strips underneath. So you have one awning on this side of the slide out and you have another awning on this side of the slide out. So the majority of your RV will be covered with awning coverage. The only place that won't be covered with an awning is going to be your slide out box there. And then when we come underneath here, I also want to point out you have the road armor suspension. So this will be working in unison with your road armor pin box, but this road armor suspension here is going to give you six inches of travel. You have rubber bushings here up on the top and on the bottom, giving you three inches of travel up and three inches of travel down. This is the only suspension system coming out of the factory that I know of that gives you six inches of travel. Most of them are only three inches of travel. So that is going to help out significantly with your towing experience as well, giving you a much smoother ride. This is a pretty big size slide out. So this is going to be a hydraulic slide. You can see underneath here, you have your pins right there for the hydraulic slide mechanism. So your bigger slides on this unit will be a hydraulic slide. And that's just about everything. We'll also look underneath the bottom here, show you the bottom. It is fully enclosed underneath here. So you have a fully enclosed underbelly. Do you have a spare tire underneath the back end over there as well? but fully enclosed and insulated in here. All of your water tanks and water lines are running in the same cavity as your heat ducting. So you will be getting radiant heat fed to those elements when you do have the furnace on as well, making sure that those don't freeze. Now it's a little tight over here, but we're gonna look through some of the stuff on this side of the RV. You can see your smaller slide out boxes like this one here have just Schwintec uh, slide out mechanisms on them. So that's what will come on those. You have the equalizer system for your auto leveling and then both of your propane bottles will go in this compartment here so two 30 pound propane bottles that it will come with we keep those out of them for the show but those will go in there and it'll be two 30 bottle or two 30 pound propane bottles then this is just another access to your pass-through storage here's a look at some of the specs on this unit here and then you're going to have all your water hookups in here, nice and brightly lit. And everything you need for any water connections are all gonna be through here, plus your pull valves for your black and gray tanks. Um, you have this that opens up right here so that all your water lines and hoses can come up through there and you can keep this door closed also. Plus you have key TV. So key TV we've talked about quite a bit. This is gonna be your just plug and play method for getting satellite connection to your TVs inside the RV, especially if you add multiple TVs, making it super easy. You just plug and play. It's really that simple. So great system that they have there. I cannot fit through here. So we're not gonna walk to the other side 
um, through this way. But there is one other thing I want to show you on the outside before we go inside real quick. All right, as we come along the back here, I do want to point out I missed this, but you do have outlets out here. I think that's another really practical thing. Just knowing from my own camping experience, what I've done is I usually like set my phone up out here to charge, especially since I like to film things and stuff like that. My phone's always dying on me. Great place to just have uh, outlets so that you can plug things in. Now under here, you can see, first of all, on your uh, storage doors, you have slam latch doors. So solid door there. And then this is going to be another storage compartment underneath here that you also have access to from the bunk room. That's what that little door is there. So we'll take a look at that in a second. But really good size storage compartment that you have back here. And you have a 300 pound accessory hitch underneath here as well if you want to store additional items on an accessory hitch. Now coming back to this side, want to make sure there's nothing else that I missed. You do have a backup camera prep on this unit as well. Plus there will be the 200 watt solar panel on the roof. You have two ACs up there and that is pretty much it. So let's head around and then go inside. I really love this outdoor kitchen. I think that is so dang cool. So as we head inside, you can see this is the show pricing that we have for this Avalanche 378BH right now. I also wanna point out that we are a priority RV network dealer. Basically what this is, is if you look at this map here, we have 130 different dealerships all across the United States that will not only get you in their service department, but if you have an emergency while you're on the road and you're ever more than 100 miles away from your house, they will actually get you in the front of the line at their service department and do everything in their power to get you back on the road as quickly as possible. So this is a huge thing that we have for our customers that you only become a member in if you purchase from a dealership that is a part of that network. And once you get that membership, it's for as long as you own the RV. Basically, you know that if you're ever traveling and have any sort of emergency, like an AC stops working or you have a water leak, anything like that, there are dealerships all over the country that will get you in the front of the line at their service departments and do everything in their power to get you back on your trip as quickly as possible. So as we walk inside, you have the Lippert solid steps. I um, really like these because it gives you a pretty low step for that first step coming in, plus the super oversized top step. And then the Avalanche is giving you this oversized entry handle, which I really like as well, making it very easy to reach from when you're on the ground before you even take your first step. And as we go inside, it's going to look very similar to the Avalanche 390 DS. However, a lot of people complained about with the three, with the Avalanche 390 DS that there wasn't enough seating. So in this model, they've given you the three cushion sofa with a single recliner there. And this is what your seating arrangement looks like without a dinette table here, like the Avalanche 390 DS. So they went with this option here. This table can also be stored underneath this sofa as well, but I just have it out for display purposes. This is a recliner here. So this is going to be that you know whoever that's usually for whoever paid for the rv gets to sit in that quality recliner right there you have some nice touches too like you have a coat rack here with a place to hang keys i really like that they use a sliding door into the bunk room as well it looks really nice the finish on it looks really good and then you have your big tv fireplace all your sound controls and everything in the kitchen Another thing that I like that they took the time to add into this unit as well and made sure to put in here is a big pantry. So obviously in a unit like this, let me turn the light on, you know, you're going to have a lot of people in most instances if you're buying an RV like this and you have a big pantry there to make sure you have room for all the food to feed everyone. You also have a really good coffee bar area here. So this is going to have lots of storage all around this area for whatever kind of setup you use this space for. The storage all the way up to the ceiling. Plus you have this little area here. And then one thing I want to point out that I was really surprised to see, cause this was not on the 2021 model. And I know that for sure. And not even on some of the older 2022s, you now have soft closed cabinets in an avalanche, which I'm super excited to see. I'm glad they put that on there. That is something that I did not expect to see and I just noticed as I was walking through this avalanche for the first time. So cool to see that. You have four storage drawers here that'll all be the same size. So a significant amount of storage in this space. This is your breaker and fuse panel and another storage compartment underneath here. 
It's gonna come with the GE refrigerator. The biggest thing I like about this is you have the water spout right there so you can get water from the refrigerator. And then in the underneath compartment here, you do have, it's taped, but you do have an ice maker in there as well. With your island, you have a 70-30 style sink set up here. So it is gonna be a dual basin sink with the oversized bin there and then the smaller bin to the right of it. A couple different storage compartments underneath here. You have shelf storage right there. This is going to be for your trash cans. It actually comes with two of them. So you can do two trash cans, a trash and recycling, whatever your preference is there. And then four more drawers right here in the island. So you can already see lots of storage in here for a bunkhouse fifth wheel. You lose a lot of space in your living area and kitchen having a bunkhouse this size, but they still do a good job of giving you all the storage that you need for being able to use this kitchen and have everything that you need while you're out camping or if you're living in it. You're going to have the big oversized refrigerator here. This is just a standard refrigerator but it is a residential size refrigerator that they give you. And then you have the Furion cooktop, Furion oven. It's a three burner cooktop and a big drawer underneath here that will fit pots and pans pretty easily. More storage next to that area. And then up above this area, you have storage as well. This is all open, unobstructed storage that you have. Again, all soft clothes. I absolutely love to see that. You have the wine rack over the refrigerator. And then a couple of things I want to point out about the avalanche as well that I haven't even touched on yet. This is a hundred inch wide body construction fifth wheel. So it feels huge in here. And in addition to that being a hundred inch wide where your standard fifth wheel is only 96 inches wide, that extra four inches makes a significant difference, but you also have six foot, 10 inch slide out boxes, which also makes this feel huge. Again, the Typical fifth wheel only has like six foot four to six foot five inch slide out boxes. So this is five to six inches taller on your slide outs, which gives it a giant feel in here and is one of the um, biggest fifth wheels that we're going to have available and definitely one of the biggest bunk houses. I um, want to point out some of the little details too, like in the countertop, you have some nice sparkly effects in there. Um, I think that looks really cool. And overall, I think this is just a really good practical area for living in comfortably. But let's get to the bunkhouse here because this is what this unit is really all about. You're going to have a trifold sofa here. So this will pull out to a full size bed. You have the bunk overhead here, which I want to point out first of all, before I put it down, I like the mechanisms they use to um, secure this bunk and how it swivels. So basically if you wanted to remove this bunk completely, all you have to do is remove these four screws and you can just take that off and you'll be able to take the bunk off. So really easy to do that, but it also makes it move up and down very smoothly. It doesn't get caught on anything. You have a window up behind here as well. All of your windows are going to have um, blackout shades. So that'll be every window in here in this fifth wheel. Then you have the L-shaped bunk up here. This is like an oversized bunk. So a really big space there. L-shaped there and then another bunk down underneath here. Then a cool aspect of this fifth wheel is you have this storage compartment here that goes down into that outside storage that we talked about. So you can access stuff in here from both places. I think kids will just love the idea that you can see outside from right there. I know that if I were a kid, I would just be passing things through that to my friends just for fun because that's what boys do. They do weird things like that and get excited about stuff like that, I feel like. <laughs> but yeah, TV hookups back here. Lots of storage as well for your kids' clothes and or whoever's staying back here. So you'll have these four drawers that will all be the same size. And then these two that will open up and have a big storage access area back here. So lots of space back in that area. Um, with your AC system, it does have two AC units on this fifth wheel. They're the Coleman Mock Q-Series ACs that are 12 decibels quieter than your standard AC unit. So it's going to be a very quiet AC system. And they have the MERV 9 filter in them. So this filter in there is a residential grade filter that is going to filter out all of your bad particles in the air. The old RV filters that were in a lot of these AC systems in RVs literally only filtered out things like pet hair and stuff like that. And these are actually going to filter out things like dead skin cells, dust particles, all that stuff. So you're getting much cleaner air in your fifth wheel. 
Next to this, you do have a half bath as well. So the half bath with its own entrance from outside. First of all, great to have a half bath just in general for the bunkhouse area, but I love the outside entrance. I didn't realize how practical that was until we went camping in my family's bath and a half fifth wheel that has an entrance like this. People would go into the bathroom from outside all the time. And I really think that's so practical. I didn't realize how nice that was to have, but it really gets used a lot and a lot more than I would have thought. So good, like to see that. You also have big oversized windows. These windows are giant for what they are in this space. So lots of natural light will be able to come in here as well. And it's just a great space overall. Um, when this bed pulls out, it's gonna come to like right about here. So it'll be a tight walking space if you are trying to get around. Um, most people will probably only take it out for sleeping, but you can leave it down in the bed position as well. Um, it all actually might even make it kind of nice where you could just jump from here up onto this bunk off that bed. I, that's probably something I would do if I was a kid because um, it'll come out to like right about here. So I know if I were a kid, I would just stand on that and try to jump up onto the bed from there. But that's just me. So that will pull out, make into a bed. Now, if all of this is not enough sleeping for you, this sofa here also makes into a king size bed. So that will come out almost all the way to the island. When you do pull it out, you won't have room to walk through this hallway, but this will pull out and make into a king size bed. So you have that additional sleeping as well. That is pretty neat. I wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. You do have this uh, faucet here that does move around as you are working in the kitchen and you have a vent fan up here. It is the Max, um, I always forget the name of this thing. The Max Air Fan, uh, this thing is going to be automatic, has a rain sensor on it, so you will have that come down if you do have it open and it starts to rain, and then you will have a switch to turn that on so you don't have to get all the way up there. And you can also put a third AC on this unit as well if you want. And then something I just noticed that's worth pointing out as well, you have the blade AC vents in here. So this is going to be these air vents that push air out in a 360 degree motion that Keystone just came out with last year. And these compared to a traditional directional vent, Keystone has found in their engineering labs that they tested this for a long time, have found that these are cooling RVs down up to 20% quicker, which actually makes a lot of sense because when you're pushing air out in a um, consistent equal motion all throughout the entire RV as opposed to just shooting it down in one direction, you're getting much better air flow all throughout the entire RV to cool it down quicker. So that's something that they started to put in just about every single RV they make now. Coming up into here, you're gonna have your control panel behind this area here. You do have a railing going up the stairs as well, so something to grab onto. Nice big window next to this area for natural light. And then you have a pass-through bathroom. So this is gonna be just like the Avalanche 390DS where you have the pass-through bathroom with the porcelain toilet. The half bath also had a porcelain toilet. And then in here you have a fiberglass one piece shower with the black appliances. So it's gonna be one piece, looks really nice. You have your seat in there, plus you have the skylight overhead as well that will give you added ceiling height because the ceiling height in here is about 6'5", so that gives you room for up to like 6'7 or so to fit in that shower. You have your sink and medicine cabinet with all your additional storage. You have some like linen storage and whatnot here, but this goes really far back, that goes back at least a foot. It might be even a little bit longer than a foot. Again, soft clothes on everything. Love that. And then storage underneath the sink here. Behind the medicine cabinet, you have a good amount of shelf space to fit things in there. And then when you're stepping out of the shower, you can step directly into the bedroom where you have a king size bed. You're going to have these four drawers that will pull out. And then you have a full wall to wall wardrobe. I like how they did this where this opens up, but it's still unobstructed through here. So this goes all the way through. You're going to have washer dryer hookups here so you can do a fully stackable washer dryer in this area. And then you have all of your wardrobe space over here. When you close this up, it also looks very nice because it is um, mirror doors that you have there. So you'll have that look when it's closed but we'll open it back up just for the purpose of how it'll show at the show. 
And then up in here, you do have an outlet back there as well. So that is going to be your nearest outlet for up in here because there's no outlets underneath here. So if you do need something plugged in, you can plug it in right there to reach the bed or to reach your little nightstand area. You'll have storage underneath the bed that is strut assisted. Plus, this is all framed out here as well. So it's really nice finishing, um, really solid finishing on this storage compartment underneath there. And it's strut assisted, so it's very easy to get this up and down. And don't have to hold anything up. On this side, you're going to have your outlets right up there. So you will have outlets on this side in that form. And then try not to get stuck on the bedding there. King size bed again, like I said, you can hook up a TV in here as well. So TV can go right there. So you can have up to three TVs in this fifth wheel, one in the bunk room and one in here if you wanna add those. You do have a window here as well so you can see outside onto your campsite. And then you'll have your different drawers here. These are actually pretty deep. These go down at least about a good eight to 10 inches. So pretty deep drawers that you have there as well, which is great to see. Another thing too worth mentioning, you have a dimmer switch in here, which you can dim these lights, make that lighting whatever you want it to be. If you want to turn those lights off because those are not connected to the dimmer, you can get more dull lighting in here, make it a little bit warmer feel, whatever you want. So like to see that as well. And I believe that's just about everything. Hopefully I didn't miss too much. I know I'm kind of going through it a little bit faster than I typically would, but hopefully I didn't miss too much as we went through this here. Oh, you have a ceiling fan as well. Didn't point that out. But yeah, that's all I got. If I missed anything, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I love when you guys give me feedback down in there. If I missed something, add that value down in the comment section. If you plan on coming to this RV show in Fort Worth, reach out to me here at this number. I would love to help you find your next RV and love to meet you. So text me there so I can know when you're coming and don't miss the opportunity to meet you. I'm really excited about this show. I'm really excited about seeing this unit. And if you have any questions about this unit or any RV in particular, you can reach out to me at this number as well anytime. And I will would love to help you out. I think that's pretty much all I got. Until next time, I'll see you at the show.